What up guys, your boy Quake, and a lot has happened since King Vaughn's passing, but before we get into that, be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW, and leave a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it. For those that don't know, this past Friday, upcoming Chicago artist King Vaughn passed away after an altercation in Atlanta at a hookah place. He was only 26. I briefly talked about this on my podcast, the Diverse Mentality Podcast. When you get a chance, check it out. I talk about King Von's passing, and I was actually starting to become a fan of his music. He dropped the Welcome to Old Block album a couple weeks before he actually passed away. I talked about it on the podcast, and I was a fan of the storytelling that he was doing. One of my favorite tracks on that project is actually Wayne's story. And a lot of things have happened since he's passed away, whether it's from his family, his homies, his manager, so on and so forth. They're telling their side of the story of what exactly happened. And T.I. decided to get in on that conversation and decided to weigh in on them having their beef in Atlanta because King Von is from Chicago and the person he was allegedly beefing with is from Atlanta. But this altercation happened in Atlanta and T.I. didn't like that one bit. He posted a photo saying this on Instagram. Atlanta is a beautiful, progressive city filled with black excellence. We uplift each other and win together. Stop coming here to kill each other. That shit is played out. Management. Then in a caption, he says, handle your beefs in your city. Thanks in advance, Dash King. Of course, after T.I. posted this, he got some insane backlash from anyone that was affiliated with with King Vaughn. The first person to respond was King Vaughn's cousin. He posted on his story, somebody get T.I. before he gets popped. Then King Vaughn's sister responded to T.I.'s Instagram post and in her story she said this, wasn't you just out the other night with other girls at the Cooper Cove? I stay seeing you cheating, mind your business, T.I. She then continued it on her story and got 50 Cent involved. She said, and these are facts, but the energy he always put into people's business need to be the same energy he needs to make it right with his daughter, not with my brother. And then she tags 50 Cent and says, get on his ass. And 50 Cent listens. He decides to G-check T.I. in his own Instagram post and says, hey, T.I., you got to chill. You're bugging for saying anything. They got casualties. This is real shit. I don't know what you were thinking, but rethink it now. They are hurting. They love that boy. He was a way out. I bet you don't even realize they will kill you for what you just said. What hood are you from again? Come on now. It's quiet time. T.I. then addresses everyone and says, this was not about King Vaughn. He posts on Instagram and says, I don't speak ill of my allies. My last post had nothing to do with King Vaughn. Y'all grossly mistaken. I have no motive or intention to do harm or malice to cats I'm cool with. My family's hearts goes out to them, and I've expressed this to the people in his life that matter the most in this situation. That's all I'm concerned with. And in his caption, he says, but I know IG ain't the place for understanding, and miserable people love to keep up shit. Be easy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's obviously a sensitive situation, and if you don't know what happened, it's very tough to speak on what happened and why it happened without the correct information that's out right now. There's a lot of different information out. And the way T.I. said it, he could have just said, stop the violence, you know, and don't continue it and, you know, be at peace. But not, you know, the way he said it was like, hey, get up out of Atlanta and go do the violence somewhere else. And that's not the right way to say it. I agree with 50 on this end. He definitely G-checked him and said, hey, these King Von is looked at as like a hero to where you know he's from because he's helped a lot of people out from his neighborhood that's it for today's video if you guys want to support this channel further you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more you can help support this channel further a link is in the description below like comment share and definitely subscribe i do videos like this daily on hip-hop news and much more so definitely subscribe follow me on twitter and on instagram at quake gw like us on facebook and i'll see you guys in the next one peace